water, get it in there. What's up guys, I'm in London for the fourth time this month again and I'm going to the Animal Aid Christmas Fair today. Um, Animal Aid is a charity, they provide lots of information about veganism on their website and also they uh, educate school children um, about veganism and check out their website they've got lots of resources and you can order um, leaflets that you can distribute around or if, you've, you know, if you're doing some campaigns yourself their leaflets are invaluable and really really good information so yeah um, there's going to be lots of stalls there it's a Christmas fair so lots of Christmassy food I would hope I really need to carb up though I haven't had any breakfast yet so I'm looking for a smoothie on my way to Kensington from Liverpool Street so I'm going to see if there's anything I can CTFU with in boots since I'm quite desperate, feeling really hangry right now. So. This is my food. What is it? Tofu, veggie curry, and rice, and bean burrito. The thing is, I still don't understand how you can't wait to get into this. And not <laughs> bean burrito, see that? <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Yum. He's been in a few grills. That burrito didn't even touch the side, so. I've got my curry to eat now. I'm so hungry. Ah! I'm here with Lucy from Hi. Compassionate Living. She's just started up a new YouTube channel, haven't you? Yeah. But um, Ali's in Paris at the minute at the climate change talks. But these are his t-shirts. That we're trying. To, she's trying to vlog him today. Aren't <laughs> <laughs> They're selling pretty well, actually. Yeah. What's your, so, what's your YouTube name? Hi. Uh, my, my YouTube name is Sophia Bama. Sophia Bama. Yeah. B E R M A. Just yeah. my name. And what's your... My soon... T I don't have any videos yet, but it's called... Instagram? Yeah, I'm on Instagram. I'm Cesar, C-E-S-A-R-F-V-E-G. Okay. And you can and follow me, yeah. And I have a um, photo of John Venus. He's really strong. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's gonna have his channel, though. Yeah. He's gonna make one. Yeah, I'm starting a video soon. Yeah. Do it, do it. Yeah. And what's this... So you're... You go to, you go to UCL, you guys? Yeah, we go to UCL. I'm a part of the UCL... Vegetarian and vegan society. Yeah. 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 And the and the group. Oh, they're here. So they're more, more they're also, from the UCL yeah. as well. But yeah, no, like the um, the group has expanded so much since last year that I was part of it. Awesome. It was so dead. Like we have so many more vegans as well. Last year it was like normal vegetarians. Yes. Why do you think that is? Like why do you think it's become so? Cowspiracy. Literally, a lot of people really? have had. Not just cowspiracy though. Like also all the YouTubers that are on yeah. YouTube, yeah. like Athena like O'Neill, Bonnie, Rebecca, vegan activists, friendly yeah. activists, all of them. And like when they come into the community. It just makes people switch. If there's more yeah. vegans, yeah. then we, you meet friends, and then you become vegan as well. Yeah. Like I'm the campaigns officer, or the assistant campaigns officer, yeah. and we're running so many more campaigns, and people are more interested. They want to come along. It's no longer just about food yeah. anymore, because it was always like, do you want to go to a restaurant? Do you want to go yeah, to cookies yeah. and scream? It was always like, considered like really hippy dippy, like new age. Yeah, Asian exactly. But, but no, it's, it's, it's like so many young people. Yeah. So many trendy people. Yeah. You know, yeah. So so diverse as well. And I feel it's so easy to convince people as well. Yeah. Like all my friends have started thinking about it. Two of my friends have changed. My family are thinking about it. Yeah, it's so easy. It's so cool. Yeah. So on my on my channel I have an interview with the friendly activists at the climate march. So I only have like two videos but I'll be making more. Probably have one on this. 
Um, but yeah, it's called Uni Vegan. Yeah, it's about being a university student and being a vegan and, you know, yeah. how university is a good time to be vegan. Yeah. A lot of people like just accidentally go vegan at uni. Like, or accidentally it's go cheaper, vegetarian. Isn't it? It's yeah. cheap to live because the food is so cheap, like rice, corn, beans. Yeah. Like, really cheap. I know lots of people that are just sort of like um, turning vegan or veggie at uni because like your mind is open to more and you're away from like the constraints of your parents. One of the things that I didn't add into my video, oh, yeah. uh, my slaughterhouse video, was on um, on your birthday when I worked in the slaughterhouse, mm -hmm. people used to cover you in blood as a joke. Like oh, people would, uh, wow. yeah, it's pretty messed up. I laugh about it now, but it's just it's, a, it's just one of the many, many fucked up things that are going on. Um, but yeah, like they would they would squeeze the heart of the of the sheep to so all the blood would go into like these vessels, and then they would cut it a little bit with their knife, and you could squirt like the blood, and people just spread it all over. As a as a joke. As a joke. Just for fun. Yeah, and flick the glands at you as well. Like pull the glands out of the sheep and flick them at you as a joke. There's a lady down there who was on the she was on the ground with Bertha or something like that. Yeah, yeah, I remember her chanting, yeah. But yeah, she came over and said hello and she said um, they wouldn't allow any vegan speakers or anything like that. So it's a bit too late, oh, but there's no one famous. Because they want the Emma Thompsons and the Vivian Westwoods kind of going, it's the government. <laughs> That's what she speaks like, Vivian Westwood. They're all criminals. Yeah. yeah, it's only going to grow because if they get it in there, it's getting your foot in the door. And she said she was a bit worried that some people were saying, why aren't you calling it the um, like animal, something to do with animals block? And it's like, well, vegan does enough, I think. And I think you're closer to the connection of environmentalism when you've got the vegan word there. I'm at South Bank, I think. The skater yes. park. Say South Bank! What? They, well, they were gonna demolish this. Like oh, really? businesses and like the people all like branded together and signed petitions. It was like a massive thing. And yeah. they saved it. So it was like a big like, people, like public initiative thing. So, it's so South Bank was like, good. Yeah. And they're gonna put a Marks and Spencer's here. And, like, we, just people just like, no, we've had enough of this place. Yeah. So it's all good. And look how like fun. Power to the people! <laughs> we need to get those skaters to go vegan now! took a really really long time because it was delayed so it's quite late now I've got to go to work in the morning another fantastic day in London uh, oh I have some toothpaste on my lips still uh, made some new friends today seems like I'm making new friends all the time it's an awesome community to um, be part of so excellent day so yeah the next vegan event I'm going to is the Norwich Christmas fair next weekend thanks ever so much for watching Please leave your comments below because I love to read them. And like this video if you want to see more vlogs like this, especially around London and Norwich. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.
I think, I think this might be the first time that you will hear this kind of thing going on. Thank you.